What is up all my investors? It is Shadon. I'm back again. I'm here with another Shine Hands video to break down the complex financial world that be making me sweat. I know y'all been sweating or losing money one or the other. I'm here to break it down for everyday people like me and you so we can get to this money, this cheddar, just a little bit more smoothly. Of course, the Nokia hype god is back again to talk about Nokia stock. Is it time to take profits? Is it time to hold? Is it time to buy? I'm sharing some more details that you should know. So pay attention. Before I get there, I got to show my appreciation to you watching. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Do I suck? Am I good? Do I make sense? Do I don't? What it is? What's up? Say what's up. If you're interested in joining the investors discord chat we have going on, Shoot me a DM above. Shout out to all the future millionaires in the chat. We are here. Uh, we're just a group of investors looking to build generational wealth through sharing resources and having daily financial conversations. That's so important, right? You want the money, but you ain't talking about it on a daily basis. You, you, you want to invest, but you ain't putting yourself in the, in the Discord chat with the same like-minded people and talking about what you're trying to get or what you're trying to do. Um... I mean, I don't know what else to say, but just hit me up in a DM if you want more information. Now, Nokia, is it time to buy? Is it time to sell? Is it time to hold? It's, let's, let's first, first point out that during this little correction, this little mudslide that the market's going through, Nokia has been able to hold on very, very well. I know there has to be some people out there that are just impressed like me um, after watching it over the last handful of months and just seeing how strong it's been able to hold itself um, during this correction. Um, it, it speaks a lot. It speaks in volumes without saying much. Um, but I wouldn't be mad at anybody that takes profits right now, even if it's a little bit. Um, and, and we'll look at the chart in a little bit that will kind of explain why I'm okay with that. Um, but it's I don't see any anything wrong with taking profits and getting back in down the road. Just don't miss the party or or shaving, uh, reducing some of your shares to to kind of just protect some of your money. Um because dollar went up, right? We're not I don't know, the economy's so weird. I feel like there's governments behind everything and they're hitting buttons and making things happen. But shh, shh, shh don't tell nobody. Right? So not a bad uh, idea to take some profits for Nokia. Um, they have shown year over year just growth. And that's that's really good. And there's some important, an important date that we have to pay attention to, which is July 29th, right? Two reasons it's very important. Q2 earnings, obviously, we want to see what the numbers look like because the numbers don't lie, right? We can feel like the Nokia stock has been doing very well, but if the numbers don't reflect that, then it's just not reality. So Q2 earnings, very important. Hopefully we'll boost the stock up higher. And we're gonna get a revised 2021 guidance for Nokia, um, which they had already expected 2021 to be the year. So I'm interested, very interested to see here read what their revised guidance is because this was supposed to be the bad year. Um, so they're not revising any guidance. I mean, not that I know of for the third or fourth quarter earnings. They're revising for 2021. Wait, which may, actually that may be fourth quarter. That may be fourth quarter, potentially. Um, so very important date, July 29th. Uh, watch this stock if you hold it. It may be a great day to buy. It may be a great day to sell, depending on what happens. I mean, who knows? It can always still get squeezed. Like We can't forget that Nokia is still in that little Reddit bubble. And they've been squeezed before, even though they said that they were... CEO came out and said that he will not let them get squeezed again. But who knows? Anything is possible. Now, let's look at the chart real quick. And I want everybody that's been paying attention to the Nokia Hype Gods, Nokia videos... Uh, which are have become very popular for me at this point. Um, you guys just love my Nokia videos, and I love y'all. Um, and, and I'm going to continue them. I'm going to continue to bring Nokia updates whenever I can. So these are the same zones from my first Nokia video I did probably over a month ago. 
or maybe longer. So I've been following this whole June, actually longer, I've been following this whole June trend, right? And my last video, we didn't, I had said I expected the stock to break out of the top of the zone. It did that. Very proud of myself from being able to predict that. It has come down. We have reached a point where it's a high for Nokia. It's a high, you know, if you look at the historical data, um, this is still a high point. So you can see on the chart that it's starting to make its way back into the zone. Um, and I can see it breaking through and it just starts to range within that zone. I think that that's a comfortable zone uh, for Nokia uh, between the low fives in the mid fives. I mean, that's kind of where it's bouncing now in a sense. But I think it's going to continue to bounce in that zone. So great time to scalp if you know how to scalp. Um, and depending on what's set on July 29th, uh, that can either take this thing down or up. Um, you know, I think that that's an important, important, important date for Nokia. July 29th, all my Nokia family, write that number down, pay attention, um, keep your ear close to the market because uh, some interesting things can happen. You just have to be paying attention. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Nokia. Are you, are you holding still? Are you buying? Did you sell? Tell me how you feel, Nokia fam. We have to move as a unit. We have to move as one. We can't, we can't just all do our own thing because then we lose our power. We are all we got, Nokia fam. So continue to stay active. I hope y'all learned something today. If you didn't or you did, please put it in the comments below. Thank y'all for watching. Check y'all out tomorrow.